back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a all the books I've read in February thing. Let's do it. So these are the ones I have the physical books for. Um, so I have some of them um, books I bought and then some I just read online, usually the ends of the series. So let's get to it. So the first book I read in February was The Bookworm Crush by Lisa Brown Roberts. This one was a cute little romance contemporary read that I flew through. So the second book I read was Meet Me at Midnight by Jessica Pennington. Pennington. Um, this one was pretty cute as well. I started off February with a few contemporaries. And then I went to Dark Kiss um, by Michelle Rowan. I did not like this book. <laughs> I rated it a two stars. I, I just... The concept was there, I just didn't really like it, unfortunately. And then the next one I read was Kingdom and F of Flesh and Fire, which I loved. I have a book review out for it from Blood and Ash, the first book. Um, I didn't have one out for this because I got it in the mail and I read it right away. Um, and now I need the third one. But it doesn't come out yet. April, I'm pretty sure it comes out. So that's sad, but anyway, definitely this series, check it out. Then I read The Wicked Saints. So I got this one off of Book Outlet and it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, I read the second, so that was good. That was also another book I read was Ruthless Gods. Um, like I enjoyed them. I didn't love, love them. Um, but I love them enough to keep reading the series. So it was pretty good. So yeah, go check that one out. So the next I read the Ash Princess series. So I read this one. I liked it, didn't love it, but still wanted to keep reading. So I read the second one, which is Lady Smoke. Um, and then the third, which is Ember Queen. So I honestly, such a weird in between because I did not love these but I didn't not like them enough to stop reading them like I finished the series which was super weird but it was fine it was good it was fine enjoyed enjoyed it then the next one I read is recommended for you by Laura Silverman this was also a cute just little contemporary um I'm pretty sure this one I read on Valentine's Day just because I wanted a little love story celebrate it so that one was pretty cute i rated it a uh, four out of five probably like a 3.8 or 4.2 somewhere in that range i'm not exactly sure what i i've read quite a bit since then and then i read the rosie project by graham simpson don't know how to say that name this one was really cute um a really it's interesting it was more it was different than um the books i usually read so i really enjoyed that and it was in the point of view of someone who had Asperger's, so it was his scientific brain and how it was working, and I thought that was really cool um, in his eyes, like, to see how he thinks. So if you haven't checked this one out, go check it out. Then I read All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. This one was pretty good. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I couldn't put it down. Um, I think there's a second. I mean, there has to be. I really enjoyed it. I like the um, tales with pirates in them. I think those are cool. So Bastian is his name. Bastian. Bastian. It's basically Sebastian without the S-E at the beginning. So I'm not exactly sure how to say it. But anyway, really liked him. Really liked the characters. So check that. And then the one I was the most excited for this month. Um, I have a book review coming up for it. I read it a couple days ago. Um, a Court of Silver and Flames. I had no idea it was this big when I got it, but I loved every second of it. So amazing. I have so many thoughts, but I'm not gonna get into them. Stay tuned for the video next week of this, of this review, of this review. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, definitely read this series if you have not. Any Sarah J. Mass and any Jennifer L. Armitrow books, I will forever recommend. As you can see, I have Jennifer L. Armitrow, Jennifer, Jennifer L. 
Armatrope, Rysand, and Feyre, which is in this series. And yeah. Can't go wrong with their writing. It's honestly amazing. So if you haven't read any of those, definitely pick them up. You'll be joining a great fandom. And then I also read The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, the first one this month. So I'm slowly getting through this series. Um, it's like when I read books that are already movies and I've seen the movies millions of times. I've also read this book and The Hobbit a long time ago. So I'm just kind of trying to go slowly, go through all the details, a couple chapters a day while reading other stuff. But then I have the rest of the series here to finish. So this one was also a good one this month. So yeah, that was all the books. I believe it was 13 in total that I read this month. Um, I've had a bit more time to read. So not mad about it. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And I make videos every week. And I will see you next time.